Excuse me, man. I know it's a bit embarrassing, but I just noticed some custard pie on your shirt. See, I reckon you're about 89, maybe even 90 in four years' time. That blue striped suit you've got on is nice. A bit too much fake tan, though. But yeah, you score high. There's just one little thing that's really, 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 really annoying me about you, you see. Yeah, yeah, like I said, you're, you're not fit, fit, but my gosh, you don't know I'm not trying to pull you. Even though I would like to, I don't think that you're a fit person to exercise the stewardship of a major international company. So when I looked at you sitting there with your son, I was kind of salivating over you, hon. Wondering whether Phil Jupiter or Nick Frost would play me in the film. When I noticed out the corner of my eye, looking toward my direction, your eyes locked onto mine. Couldn't concentrate on what I wanted to say, and you just said, a big boy did it, and ran away. I'm not trying to boo you, even though I would like to. I don't think that you're a fixed person to exercise the stewardship of a major international company. Gosh, you don't know it. Are you smoking crack Mike, or something? Mike, just leave it, just leave we it. We cannot have that behavior in this establishment. It's not worth it, Mike. Just leave don't it. Don't touch me. It's not worth it. Don't touch me. Leave it out. Don't, look, I'm all right. Don't touch me. Ha <laughs> ha. You're not fit, but you don't know it. 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 I think I'm going to fall over. I think I'm gonna fall. 